Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be playing through Renowned Explorers International Society, which is developed by a small Dutch company by the name of Abbey Games. It's an adventure strategy game with a rogue-like uh, gameplay. So if you're looking for a different type of game than you're used to playing, like a role-playing game or a first-person shooter or a puzzle game, then I highly recommend playing this game. There's a lot of possibilities and options and it's really challenging too. You can spend hours playing this game. And if you're a parent and you have a child, it is uh, it's not violent, there's no language, so it's a great game to play as a family, even though it's single player, and it's uh, great for decision making and risk taking. So, for development. Now when you start a game, you're going to get either discovery mode or adventure mode. Adventure mode, I would say, is for the more hardcore adventurers, because in adventure mode you can't save your game or restart. So I'm going to go with discovery mode for the video's sake because it's easier and I'm just going to change the difficulty to normal. You can choose easy or you know normal, classic, or impossible. I don't think I've ever played impossible mode so yeah I should get on that. Okay so I'm going to choose normal mode and when you start you're going to have one of each uh, category. So um, for me I have a lot more uh, captains available because I played through the game more, but you'll have more options to select a captain when you uh, play and you unlock them when you play as a crew, crew member. So now you can have a scientist, they gain extra research, a scout which can get extra gold, fighter extra gold, and a speaker extra status. Let's see, this one... Now I'm going to choose Agatha just because she is my favorite um, character and also because she has the archaeologist perk. If anybody knows me, I will default to automatically default to anything with archaeology in a game because that's what I went to school for. Now they say with Agatha it's best to do devious or friendly, which is the different types of uh, fighting modes that you can choose. And there's also aggressive, but she's not very aggressive. Now with this old German professor, I am going to use... Oops. Let's see. And then of course you can choose any kind of character you want. So for a crew member, so I'm going to choose... Let's see, Agatha is friendly or devious, so... Maria Rodriguez. Lacking defense. I think I need somebody with defense. Oh, well, she's got good defenses, and she's Canadian, I guess, so we'll choose her. And we have speech and deep speech defense. Balance Scout with decent defense. And we'll just go with Pedrino Pinheiro. I hope I said his name right. If you're Brazilian, I'm sorry. My Portuguese is terrible. Or lack of non-existent. So, um, so, and the perks are essential to have a diversity or a variety because uh, you'll see in a bit with the encounters that you come across that will help you. So we're going to go with that. But yeah, there's a lot of fun characters that you can choose from. They they just did a great job with it. Like this 14-year-old Austrian girl that's a magician. Or this uh, Mexican luchadore. So, um, yeah, fun. All right. Let's go and play now that we have our crew. All right, so the point of this expedition is we need to find the Druidic Stone Circle. Rumor has it that Celtic Druids set up a sect here a long time ago. I'm going to skip the tutorial because I already know how to play, and we're just going to go with the... Wow. 
All right. Now then. And every time you move forward, you lose one supply up here on the top bar in the middle. So it's a big risk. Do you want to keep continuing further on with when you're low on supplies for getting more treasure and renown? Or do you want to just not risk it and just go with what you have? So I'm going to go here. I guess there's gold and research. And with Agatha, I get good research. Finds an overgrown rock for make rock formation with some rare herbs growing on it. However, Yvonne recognizes that useful minerals might be in the rock. That's kind of convenient. Yvonne is curious to see what more is in there. The crew is now in a dilemma. Agatha wants to save the plants for research. Ivana is giddy. Yvonne is giddy to see what more is in the rock alibi at the cost of destroying the herb's habitat. And we'll just save the research. Save for research. Sorry, Yvonne. All right, now I can either go a lot of different ways. I think I'm gonna go this way with an encounter with research. Your crew is minding its own business, walking around the forest and taking samples for research. And suddenly you hear the sound of multiple feet rushing towards you. Oh my gosh, what is it? Wow, that guy looks scary. Look at those teeth. And a wolf. Ugh. All right, so now does now it looks like to go the to go friendly has the most reward. So I'm gonna go with that, or at least try. Now if I go now the enemy is in aggressive mode, which means that if I go friendly, it'll make them stronger. But if I do go devious, it'll make them weaker. So I'm gonna go a bit of devious, just so you know that way. It's easier. Now she's scolding him, and he's so scared by this old lady that he runs away. Good puppy. And then... Okay, so we're gonna go... We're gonna excite this wolf. <laughs> Alright. Blow him a kiss. Goodbye. So now the mood has changed, and unfortunately, because I'm very friendly, with them being aggressive, I my crew will have minus 20 armor now, which is not good. But it should be easy, because it's the, you know, beginner island, so to speak. Now he's scared. Uh, love it. Easy to win these wolves' hearts, I guess, with a kiss. And is she bragging about a sail ship? I don't get it. Probably heal her. Alright. Does it. And also, your friendly uh, skills, your friendly attacks can also heal allies. So, I'm gonna heal Yvonne here because she's not looking very good. Yay, she gets an A, so she's cheerful and all of her sickness goes away. Heartwarming. Now I got some campaign tokens, which give status and renown. Research study tokens, which give research and also renown. And encounter tokens, which give gold and status. And Yvonne, or not Yvonne, Maria, looks like she has a bonus for the winning with friendly victory. She gets plus five speech defense and plus two speech power. So that's pretty good. 
Druid apologizes. I thought you were going to steal everything. I have. But it turns out you're pretty nice. You can have this treasure I was guarding. Wow, gee, thanks. Ooh. Cross. Nice. Just gonna go. And also, by the way, there's um, extra. With the base game, later on, they came out with downloadable content. So you can get more to explore. And there's the Emperor's Challenge expansion. I have more to explore with my game. So that includes. Um, whenever I get a treasure, I get like extra um, things I get with it. So like I can get five study or plus three to five research from a discovery or from you know from a campaign. I get different fun options. So I'm just gonna go with what's recommended for now. Fantastic find. And his force behind. If one of the druids is here, the druidic circle must be nearby. Natural survival is what you're having. Mm, I'm gonna go here. The true crew traverses an area that looks like it's never been trodden before. Maria finds a weird colorful stone that looks valuable. The crew goes in to take a look. Sadly, a closer look shows the stone is no gold or gemstone. The crew dismisses the stone as some common pebble. Aww, the chip. On one of those rainy days, you see a feather lying beneath the small tree. The feather is both magnificent and valuable. Yay! Golden status. Now, my bar here on the bottom right with the campfire story just filled up so I can tell a story with my crew. And it gives me options to choose. So I am going to choose study since with Agatha I get more st with study tokens. Agatha adamantly makes a point to discuss a weird cultural phenomenon you observed earlier today. The crew really just wants to sleep, but a rambling Agatha makes that virtually impossible. In the end, the crew goes in and joins Agatha in the discussion, which turns out to be very interesting. I'm sure it was. Oof, look at all that study tokens I got now. Okay. Go here. The crew is walking through the forest quietly. When they hear the bushes rustle, the crew sneaks up to see what's causing all that noise. Get closer. A white stag. What a fascinating sight. Not only is this an invaluable observation, but the stories co to come from this will impress the renowned explorers. Yay! The crew finds ancient Celtic holy grounds. A very interesting find, and there isn't much known about ancient Celtic mythology yet. Something worth investigating. Take a look. The site is very interesting. There are ruins with rituals described to honor Thernunos, the horn god. Those who fail to perform the ritual properly will be cursed with bad luck, the ruined state. You learn a lot from observing, but Agatha thinks you might learn even more by performing the ritual. Great. Um, so I have options about... with. Uh, you see here a percentage now because Agatha has archaeologist perks. This is like really easy for her to win, so I have a 95% chance of getting four study tokens. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No! Yes! <laughs> well, forming the ritual, Agatha suddenly has an idea on how the Celtic pantheon was structured. With this new insight, Agatha also gained a big interest in legends. Agatha vows to read more mythology and gain the archaeologist legends for Yay! And she leveled up. So she's got three levels of archaeology now. now. I could go with the fourth one, or I could go with tactician. I'm gonna go with tactician just so that way I have extra extra perk with that, since if I come across an encounter with that, I can use that. And there's supplies! Yay! Nice, you found a grove full of edible berries, vegetables, and clean water, so allow you to restock some of your supplies. Hungry wolves are falling on way, way to get out of this. Agatha is technically prepared, so I get, because of the tactician skill I just perk I just equipped, I get a tactically prepared bonus when I start the encounter, which is pretty sweet. 
And it looks like I get a, a reward with if I go aggressive stance, so I should go with that. And they're aggressive, so I should go um, go uh, devious. So I'm gonna go devious with this awesome lecture cone area of effect skill she has. <laughs> and apparently all these wolves don't like her lecture. I guess it's boring. Uh, Now, aggressive is basically just fighting, so... Alright, so... That's all we can do, we're gonna end our turn. I love this watch. She hits some of their game. <laughs> it gets me every time. <sighs> Alright, so we got three encounter tokens, and Agatha, with solving aggressive, she got a bonus of plus five armor and plus two attack power. Nice. Those aver threat averted. Those wolves will bother you no more. Stories like these will do well at the Renowned Explorers. Great, continue. Alright, so we got Maria and Yvonne leveled up. So, Maria can go Archaeologist or Beguiler, and since Agatha's already Archaeologist, I'm going to go with another Beguiler. Charms. And Yvonne is... Oh, they're both Beguilers. Hmm. I'm going to go with Rogue. That's not a good crew if it's not that varied. Oh well. Music come from a meadow. Hmm. There's no one in sight. Seems that the wind in combination with some strange, strange type of twin flower is making the sound. You listen for a while, the beautiful sound make a note of the phenomenon. Phenomenon. Great. All right. So I came to the druidic circle. So now that, like, I'm just gonna end the map since I have really no supplies left here. So I'm gonna venture to the ending treasure. Who vigorously searches through the dense forest it doesn't look, take long before you find it. A standing stone, stone circle. The ruined main men here must contain valuable information to study. It will surely skyrocket your reputation as the renowned explorers. However, you hear a familiar laughter. Uh oh. The rival French explorer Rivalo. Rivalo? Rivalo? Whatever his name is. He's gonna steal your your men here. And we're being attacked by his la lackey. Great. Probably best to go devious, I'm thinking. Oh, nice. I can get four guys with this. Now, whenever you do a final battle, it's best to attack, keep focusing on the the main um, the main boss because he. If you don't focus on the main boss there and you focus on the lackeys, then and you um, defeat them, then there will be more that will come and join the battle. So you you want to make sure to really go with him. <laughs> okay, that wasn't very family friendly, but you get the point. Druid pops out. Amazing, I saw how you handled that encounter just now, defeating a foe with insults and manipulation. I try, try too hard. Remarkable skill, I'm honored that someone like you is looking for our history. Allow me to help with the divination. Please tell me, what is the dream you chase? 
became the most famous and respected explorer, to be a wealthy and successful adventurer, to, to make an amazing contribution by the, to the sciences by exploring the world. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Ah, oh, science, a noble cause for sure. Since the earth is excited to be discovered, give me a minute. And trance, the druid leads the crew to a digging spot. The crew finds rare metals and a unique treasure. Amazing. All right, so Pinkleton over here recommends plus one study at the end of each expedition for each level of archaeologist in your crew, which is perfect for Agatha. Last line, your expedition still concludes on a high note. However, it's clear that if you want to be the most renowned explorer, you'll have to beat Rivalo, whatever his name is. Now it's personal. Back to London. All right, so I ended the expedition with a friendly standing, and I got two treasures and a bunch of research. Yay! We're a sympathetic scientist. Alright, so I get extra supplies, I get plus two extra supplies, and with the badge I get extra renown and insight. So here is where you can use all of your lovely gold, your status, and your research on this map before your next expedition. And with insight, you can spin that at one of these places doing uh, lecturing for like for gold or stat more status or research. I'm gonna do research if you with Agatha you get way more. So that and with research it basically is doing uh, upgrades for your crew. I'll show you in a second when I'm done spinning here. So we're gonna go back. And then with research, I can either unlock observations or history. Observations are advancing through research faster, and history uh, is more of focusing on spending in the cities. I think I'm gonna go with research faster. I feel like that's more uh, essential. Most important idea of modern science, the crew has an opportunity to specialize one crew member in any of the sciences. Read the natural engineer archaeologist perk. I think Agatha will. I'm gonna give her an engineering perk. Wow, that's a lot of options. <laughs> um, I have to go with combustion. That sounds fun. And this one. Naturalist, engineer, and archaeologist gain plus one study when they exceed on the adventure wheel. Oh, that's nice. And this one gave me a student and, uh, to join my entourage and two insight. So and this gives plus two study when spending insight in Berlin. I'm gonna do this. Gives me more supplies, which is essential for getting more treasure. Challenge note of your choice the first time. Hmm. Go with this one. Agatha trains everyone to pay extra attention when exploring the wilds. An expedition leads to unknown locations where discovery to be made. The crew trains to take an extra good look whenever a certain type of challenge arises. I'm gonna go with cultural because of Agatha with archaeology. Oh, I still have some more to spend so I can complete it. With so much expertise in the art of observation and the scientific method, the crew has learned a new way to use their gain to acquire more renown. Where has the crew gained expert efficiency? Our research brings more prestige. I can unlock history too, I guess, too. Which will upgrade entourage hall costs to negative 40% status. And I can do... No, I don't have anything. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so I have two more insight from all the upgrades I just did at the research. So I'm going to do more research. 
Wow, she gets a lot of research now. Okay, and I go back. <laughs> Gain one insight every time you finish an expedition. Fort Lobbyist joins my entourage with five campaign. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Gain one insight. All right, and then gold, I have 145, I have a bit, not a lot, but because I'm focusing on studies, so if I was either a scout or a fighter class, maybe I would get more gold. Survivalist or engineer? And from terrified speeches. Hmm. I'm gonna go with hmm. I'm gonna sell my exploring book for dummies and get a decent book. I can get another one too for it on. I can I have quite a bit of campaign to your status to spend. So now you can choose between these specialists, which I don't have enough work apparently because I have under 96 and there's only 200. And there's a second place you can go to. So this has 150. Now I can get, depending on which um, mo mood I go with and then with the battles, I can go with whatever so this doesn't really appeal to me since i'm focusing on research i'm just gonna get some extra helpers so i'm gonna get more more students since that gives me more research all right oh i have another uh insight that i can spend yeah Okay, let's see if I have something I can research. Nope, I only have 75, the next one is 90. Okay, so now I have 12 supplies, yay! Um, and I got more renown too, since when I ended at 133, I have 267. Now, since I got the first tutorial map done, I can choose a different one. They're, they're all two star. And depending on what perks I have and what mode I want to go with um, and what I get too. So this is great for research, except I don't really have any technique or nature challenges. So maybe not the Caribbean. Hungarian Fort gives, let's say what it gives, but devious, um, which I am devious, devious and friendly. Archeologist, diplomat, which I have Agatha. And this is Beguiler Challenges with Friendly Approach. So you have different options you can choose, which is really fun. So um, I just wanted to play through the first map for you all and just give you a showcase of what the, what the game is all about. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you've played this game before, I would love to hear about your comments, what you think about the game in the uh, comments below. Or if, and if you and let me know like what your favorite character is or your favorite expedition map. I, I don't, I can't decide on what my favorite is, but I do like the Mali one with the hyenas that you, you have to fight against and they are devious towards you. It's really funny. So um, if you like this video, please subscribe below and also um, give me any suggestions of games that you would like me to try, would like me to play. I'm going to do a weekly video with me playing a new game 
So um, I'm hoping to do that on Tuesdays, um, have a video up on Tuesday. So let me know what you think, your thoughts, and if you want to try this game out. Also, you can get this game on Steam or GOG. I got this game 80% off, I think, back then on Steam. And you can do, um, usually Steam has the bundle deals. So I would wait until it goes on sale for cheap because you could probably get the more to explore downloadable, downloadable content with the Emperor's Challenge expansion in the base game in one package for probably like a really good deal. So there's also a heads up on that too. So I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, thanks for playing with me. Well, sort of playing, more like watching, but thanks for watching me play and I hope you enjoyed and have a great week guys. Bye.